Welcome to another Bamzuki Grand Final. Today, four teams are going to battle it out, but only one will walk away with the victorious Bamzuki. Jake, Jake, Jake. What? I've come up with an experiment to show that the Bamzuki brick is indestructible. Really? And how are you going to do that? Like this. Ow! <laughs> Fritz, did you get Nosey's permission for that? Oh, no. Right. OK, on with today's show. It's time to meet our first team. And like me, they love two things, Bamzuki and Norwich City. We're called the Canary Wolf because they're the best football team in the world. Yeah! We'll have to agree to disagree on that, but you can't disagree with Canary Wolf's performance in the Bamzuki Heat. Crocodilian freed Lily with ease. And Stingfire put together an enormous score in China Shop. And in the final, despite falling behind, Tranchily clawed it back for them and won a place in today's semi final. We're at the top of the league. You guys have the most incredible Zook designs. You also did really well last time you were here, and you've designed over 150 Zooks between you. But is there a bit of a danger? You might get a bit overconfident today, Joshua. Yeah, there is a danger of being overconfident, because overconfident give, brings you bad luck. It may bring you bad luck. Think about that carefully. Now, Ethan, what do you reckon an Uber Zook needs? Sp speed, power, agility. OK, well, good luck when it comes to designing your Ubazooks. Let's get on with the show, and it's time to meet your opponents. They're chicks, they're quite cheeky. Try and work out what their name is. Cool, stylish, fashionable. But maybe these girls still had one eye on the catwalk when it came to Danger Zook, losing that particular contest. But in past the blast, Cheeky Ramster got them back in it. And in Zook Ball, Cheeky Racer scored the only goal of the game to give them a 2-1 lead into the final, where, despite a bit of hindrance from Cheeky Mover, Cheeky Racer was yet again star of the show. This season, Zooks, don't proceed with that one. Good to see you again. Now, last time you were here on Bamzuki, which of your Zooks do you think really let you down a bit? Uh, probably Cheeky Full On, because, well, we lost the first contest with him. What do you think the problem was? Um, I think he was too slow and his leg movement made him skid quite a bit. Bear all that in mind when you're designing your Ubersooks today. Laura, what are your initial thoughts about why your Ubersook is going to be the best? Well, we're going to try and um, make it so that it can do everything that we may be doing in the contest. Very best of luck. Let's get it on. This is the first contest. <laughs> Now, teams, I know you're all desperate for a place in today's Bamzuki Grand Final, but you'll only get there if your Uberzooks complete your first challenge. This is Zook Slab Dash. Now, when it comes to designing your Uberzooks, you've got to think about this and also the Grand Final, OK? They've got to cope with both of them. Now, for this, you need a fast Zook because you've got to race from end to end. But if your Zook can't climb over these slabs to get there, you're not going to do very well. Think speed, think climbing ability, think Uberzooks. Off you go! The teams can choose to modify one of their existing zooks or build a completely new one. Let's see what the Greens decide. Well, they've gone for Crocodilian, who did so well for them in Free Lily and the final relay. A few adjustments to the leg. Maybe improve his targeting. <laughs> a spot of dental work. Meanwhile, the Reds have gone for Cheeky Ramster. How can they improve him? More leg adjustments. A bigger nose. Ah, of course, wings. Ah, more than just cosmetic adjustments. Looking good. Well, here's the lineup. In the green corner, we had Crocodilian. Now we've got Crocodile King. Meanwhile, for the cheeky chicks, here's Cheeky Monkey. Cheers, Rich. Now, both the Ubazooks are on the table. Nicola, it's your first look at Crocodile King. What do you reckon? It's scary. Quite scary, isn't it? Even mm. I'm a bit worried. Best of luck to both teams win this, and you're in the grand final. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
I love these Uberzooks. They are always the ultimate performers when it comes down to it. Both of them really quick. Look at the speed of Crocodile King for the Canary Wolves. He's got two slaps and he's getting over them with ease. Meanwhile, Cheeky Monkey, he's doing well, not quite as quick as Crocodile King gets his third. Cheeky Monkey making his way back, but both suits performing really well. I think for once we're going to go all the way to the finish on this game. Crocodile King gets his fourth. Can he get two more? Cheeky Monkey, well, I don't know if he's going to be able to catch up here. Five now for Crocodile King. Oh, he did! goes off the table but he's gonna get the six it's six for crocodile king canary wolf in the final well done canary wolf can i just say something what a performance by cheeky monkey to get that many slabs down is actually fantastic and you brought some amazing zooks to us and you just weren't quite strong enough in the end but thank you so much for coming down you really were fantastic boys how are you feeling ethan you're looking forward to the final yep you think you're gonna win it yeah i knew that would be your answer congratulations boys i can't wait to see how that super fast zook does in today's final and this is the team you may well be up against last time they were here though they put in a pretty poor performance we are the basketball superstars. And their performance was anything but super. Shuffle, lost, Zook wobble. Ali Oop turned out to be, well, the weakest Zook. And drop step wasn't much cop at Zook bowling. So when it came to the final, you'd have thought game over. Wrong. Comeback of the century. You ready? I was going to say I'm going to slam up the way to start him. Yeah! yeah! Now, boys, last time you were here, you failed to win a single contest. Can you still believe that you're actually here in the semi-final after what happened last time? 3-0 no. down. No. Nilesh, you've got to design your Uberzoop today. What are your initial thoughts on how you're going to go about that? Um, well, we're going to use alley -oop, but we're going to have to make it bigger so it doesn't fall over. Whatever you do, don't make up your mind straight away. Wait until you see what's actually happening in the semi-final first. And now it's time to meet your opponents. And I'm afraid to say they did a lot better than you boys last time. Spaceship Batman has landed on the planet of the zoo. There's a zoo entering the radar of the ship. And their performance was out of this world. Colour Bat, fantastic in Zoo Smash. Doom Bat, well, luck was on his side in Blooming Zooks. But Cyberbat hit back in Merry Go Zook. And in the final, Colour Bat, Doom Bat, Cyber Bat and Batterpillar batted their way to universal success. Pair the tape. The undefeated Cheltenham Batterpillars, welcome back. Kieran, why did you do so well last time? We made sure our zooks were moderately good at everything and we also made sure there's, we picked the right zooks for the right contests. Now, Andrew, I've got a couple of important questions. Will your uber zook have fangs? Yeah. And will it have the name Bat? Yeah. OK, I thought you might say that. Very best of luck. Welcome back to Bamzuki. Let's get on with the show. It's time for another semi-final. <laughs> Zook Tag is your semi-final today, teams, but I don't want you thinking, oh, brilliant, all we've got to do is design a Zook that's fast and manoeuvrable, because your Zook has also got to be able to cope with today's grand final. So when designing your Uber Zooks, think about Zook Tag, but also think about a Zook that can take on a whole load of different challenges, just like Bernard. Teams, the time has arrived. It's time to design your Uber Zooks. Off you go. With four zooks each to choose from, are the teams going to modify or start from scratch? Let's have a look at the basketball superstars. Well, they've chosen Ali Oop. Interesting, he wasn't much cop in the heat. Get on to escape. Go on to escape. An all-important turning device. That is fine. What do we make? He looks pretty quick. Meanwhile, the Reds, well, that's Cyberbat. That's going to take ages. They promised us teeth. More um, alterations. Shove a bit, shove a bit. That's our next. He bit. looks pretty stable to me. Let's have a look at what we've got. Well, in the green corner, he was Ali Oop. He's now Ali Uber. Meanwhile, in red, meet Shadow Bat. Thanks a lot, Rich. So, teams, Zook Tag is all that stands in the way of one of you making it to today's Bamzuki Grand Final. Very best of luck to both teams. I want to hear loads of cheering. Let's do it. Let's start Zook Tag. Three, two, one. Off they go. Both suits charging towards the tag. And look at this. They are both quick. And it's Shadow Bat with 
the early lead, 3-1, but Ali Uber there getting one back. And indeed getting another and now taking the lead. Oh, great performance from Ali Uber. He's definitely the quickest suit in a straight line. Oh, a superb score there, extending his lead now. But there's Shadow Bat. Oh, a double hit going on there, one for each, but still Ali Uber with that lead. Well, can Shadow Bat pull this back? Making a bit of an inroad now, only three points between them. Now only two. Great stuff. And oh, Ali Uber's off. Can Shadow Bat claw it back? Oh, there goes the klaxon. 11 9 to Ali Uber. He's in the final. Well done, boys. Yes, You're into yes, today's yes, final. Yes, yes. He fell off the table, Ali Uber, and you still didn't make it into the final. But, boys, you did so well. Such a fantastic zoop. I think in the end it was speed that just let you down, Andrew. Don't worry, you were absolutely fantastic. So well done, guys. All right, Kieran, you're okay? Well done. Boys, congratulations. <laughs> Are you a little bit worried about taking on Canary Wolf in the final? They're pretty good, Neelish. No. No? You're confident? <laughs> oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I tell you, today's Bamzuki is going to be a fantastic final. Can't wait for it. And while these boys prepare themselves, you can have a look at some of our favourite zooks from the website. Massive bling. Anyone seen the river? Ride em, Zook boy! Stop messing about. Anyone seen Gollum's ring? The Zook arriving at platform three. Surprise! After four. One, two, three, four. Taxi for Jake. Answers on a postcard. You hum it, I'll play it. These are pretty impressive Uberzooks, but even they might struggle with today's Bamzuki Grand Final. And both of our teams have designed them to cope with this kind of stuff. First of all, they've got to get through the boxes, and then they've got to deal with the slalom. At the end of the course, there are these massive boulders to deal with. We've also got hurdles, swing doors, and all of those poles, each of them with a ball precariously placed at the top. It really is the ultimate test for any Zook. Rich, introduce us to the Uberzooks one last time. Well, I've seen some quick zooks in my time on Bamsuki, but these two are real screamers. We've got Ali Uber for the basketball superstars, and lining up in red, it's Crocodile King for Canary Wolf. Cheers, Rich. Now, basketball superstars, you've only ever won two contests here on Bamsuki, whereas Canary Wolf, as it stands, you're unbeaten. But all of that form goes out the window right now. All that matters is whoever wins this. Win this, and you're crowned the champions. Best of luck, teams. Let's do it. Three, two, one. And look at them go! Look at the speed of those two Uber Zooks. They're neck and neck. Ali Uber in green and Crocodile King in red. But Ali Uber is through the revolving doors and into the poles with balls. Crocodile King is stuck at his first hurdle. And Ali Uber has a great opportunity to win it for the basketball superstar. But Crocodile King has come over the wall. Ali Uber struggling to get through the borders. He's through one. Can he get past us? He's through. But here comes Crocodile King. Ali Uber turns. Can he get to the finish? He's done it. The basketball superstars are superstars. They truly are superstars. Congratulations, boys. Canary Wolf. Can I just say, you have without doubt been one of the most dedicated teams I've ever seen on this show. Fantastic zooks, amazing designs. Thank you so much for what you've done. We're really proud of you. So congratulations. You should be proud of yourselves. Boys, I can't believe I even I can't believe it. I mean, you Come lost on, yeah. your first three contests, and now I'm about to hand you the trophy, Mark. Can you believe I'm about to do this? No. Well, there you go. Your very own Bamzuki trophies. Well done, guys. And of course, you can log on to our website, bbc.co.uk slash cbbc and find all of today's Uberzooks. Rich, what an amazing finish. The most classic of all classic Bamzookies, Jake. <laughs> That's a classic. We'll see you next time. Take care. What an extraordinary final. And the whole process starts over again right now. OK, it's time to put some more soups to the test. Rich, what is this all about? Jake, Jake, have a look at this. I've been up all night nailing this together. It's massive! It is massive, but you know what, mate? I think you've finally lost your marbles. <laughs> anyway, time to crack on with today's show. Let's meet our first team. And they took to the skies for their zook building inspiration. Like us, our zoops are high flyers. So take C. Pass 
fasten your seatbelt and purchase your zoo to take to the sky. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Case Destroyer is not only our tallest suit, but he is our heaviest one as well. The weight helps him stay on the ground when he's going so fast. Case Destroyer is designed close to the floor with long legs so it can clear more than one centimetre at a time. Treeboard is built with a long tail and a long nose to help it balance. Treeboard is a very good herder and can get over obstacles really easily. We designed Serge with no head so that he has a larger surface area to push with. Serge has a tail like Treeboard, which helps him to balance when he moves. Skinny Malink can turn better than our other Zooks because the way she's designed means that she can balance while turning corners. Look out! Close our zoo! I'm going to soar! To success! Zooks away! And touching down in the Bamzuki studio, Cage Destroyer 3, Treeboard, Skinny Malink, and Surge 2. You know what, you've got some really interesting looking Zooks, but the first one that kind of leaps out at you is Skinny Malink. Is he not a little bit top heavy? No, I thought that at first, but it actually works out quite well because there's so many um, long bits at the back, it kind of evens it out with the head. Apart from Skinny Malink, all of your Zooks have got four quite small legs. Callum, what's the thinking behind that? Well, we've got um, more than four legs on Skinny Malink because it helps it to go round corners quicker, whilst the others have got more agility than that one. So whatever we throw at you today as a team and as a team of Zooks, you're going to cope with it? Yeah. Good luck. Right, it's now time to meet your opponents. And I can't believe this. For the first time ever, this is an advert on the BBC. Are you looking for a great team of Zooks? They come in a range of shapes and sizes. We've got a great selection for you. Spike, Boston strength and style. Spike's my favourite Zook because he's fast and he can like knock blocks over. First I like started off with a square, then I thought it was a bit bare, so I added spikes onto his back. Introducing Fawn. You can't keep him down for long. I like Fawn because he's really colourful. The reason he's got fawns on his back is he can flip on his feet again and get back in the game and I think he's going to do really well. Here comes Scar, an all-rounder who you can rely on for anything. Scar's my very favourite Zook because he's got groovy colours. Because of his little stubby legs he doesn't really go that fast but he's really strong. Dawn Marcel, coming to a TV near you. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> While stocks last, take your pick from Spotty. Scar, Thorn, and today's special offer, Spike. Now, boys, I think your zooks are fantastic, but I love Spotty's eyes, the way they're on those stalks. He's fantastic. What do you think he'll be good at? Uh, most of all, probably climbing. And what do you reckon to your opposition zooks? They're a bit scary. <laughs> they're a bit bigger than yours, aren't yeah. they? Ian, can you still win today? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Very best of luck. Right, time to get on with the show. This is the first contest. <laughs> this contest, teams, is really good fun, but it's also a massive challenge for your zooks. It's not easy at all. If I was to offer you one bit of advice for this, it would be pick a stable zook. Otherwise, it might get turned upside down by the poles if they get in your way. And even worse, the ball... I mean, look what happened to Bernard. See? Not stable enough for this. The balls can also knock you over as well. So it's got to be a big decision. It's time to pick your first zook. Go on. They've been eyeing up each other's zooks. Let's see how that affects their choice. How about we use Fawn? He's fast, but he's accurate. I think we we'll, should use Skinny Malink. I agree with that. Yeah. I think we should go for that one. What about one? Scar? Well, we mm, use Because he's the heaviest one. Do we all agree then? Skinny Malink. Do you want to go for Scar then? Yeah, we'll go for Scar then. OK, teams, back you come. Well, I think the Eliminators have got something against me. Their Zook names are really tricky. So in the green corner, we've got Skinny Malik. Meanwhile, who have the Reds chosen? They're called the Beatles. Surely John, Paul, George or Ringo. No, it's Scar. Thank you very much, Rich. Now then, you're up against Scar, Jack. First impressions of your opponent's Zook. Well, I'm confident that we're going to win, but it's going to be close, I know that. I think it is going to be close. Best of luck, teams. Let's do it. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one... <laughs> 
Well, I think I know which one Skinny Malink and Skinny Malink has made the better start. Look at that agility. Left to right, winding through the poles, leaving Scar completely in his wake. It's all over. Skinny Malink has done it. Congratulations. Skinny Malink was like a huge lollipop wandering along there, but he did really well. A fantastic zoop for you. Ben, what was the problem with Scar? just wasn't fast enough. A little bit too slow, wasn't he? Unlucky, guys. And that means that it's 1-0 to the Eliminators, and it's time for round two. <laughs> the aim for your Zooks here, teams, is to get around this course as quickly as possible. The Zook that does it the fastest is going to be the winner. However, it's not as simple as that. For every one of these poles that you knock down, we're going to add a second to your time, and this is what you've got to avoid. Don't touch the boulders. If you do, they could roll into quite a few poles and cause you loads of problems. Accuracy and speed is what we're looking for. Teams, off you go. Well, the green zooks have already unsettled the reds. Surely they're feeling confident. Because if we'd have waited, we could have used Skinny Willink. Yeah. 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 yeah, Spike is quite fast, but he's not accurate. We need to use someone like Cage Destroyer or Treeboard. We need accuracy, so I'm suggesting Spotty would be good. Treeboard? Yeah, Spotty. Interesting matchup. Let's go. Well, Treeboard will be lining up for the Eliminators. It's another great name. Will it be a great suit? Meanwhile, the Beatles will be hoping for a spotless performance from Spotty. Cheers, Rich. Now, Treeboard is on the table to start with, so Eliminators, you may be one up, but we need loads of cheering to help your Zook out. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Good luck. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. Well, off goes Treeboard. Hey, he's, he's pretty nippy. He's also pretty small. I reckon that's a good design. But, oh, dear, he's caught that ball there. And there's a few gone down there, I reckon. One, two, three, four, five already down. But he, he winds his way down the back straight there. Pretty good. Turning in. Oh, it's a bit too close. Six have gone down. Stops dead. That's 22 seconds. But hang on. The ball has just knocked oh. off a final peg. It's 22 seconds, seven down, 29 score. That's not bad, 29, not bad at all. Beatles, you are desperate for the points. Oh. You've got to do this in 28 seconds or less. Good luck. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Well, not only has he got to get around in 28 seconds, he can't knock any poles down at all. It is a big ask for a little Zook. And I've got a suspicion he's not going to make it. He just doesn't seem quick enough. He's already well over halfway in time, and he's not halfway round the course. Time is running out. He's accurate. He hasn't knocked over any poles. But that's it. 30 seconds has gone. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Yes. I'm so sorry, lads. There's no point even continuing. One of the most embarrassing things for Azuk is to stop when he's not even halfway. But don't worry. It's all about speed letting you down at the moment. But I'm sure you can come back from this. And as we stand, the Eliminators are eliminating the opposition. They're 2-0 up. <laughs> this is going to test your Zook's power, your Zook's speed, but mainly your Zook's ability to climb. Bernard Nosey... Give us a little demonstration. Now, the reason why it's testing their climbing ability is because they've got to get up and down these hills. And the problem is, if you pick a Zook that's too big, he's going to get his big old legs to collect the balls in front of him and make it even harder. You can see even Bernard's struggling, and he's fantastic. Right, teams, time to pick another Zook. Go on. Are the Reds worrying too much about what the Greens are going to choose? Spike would be quite a good idea. Yeah. You need some speed and you need someone who's quite small. Surge so too, I reckon they're going to use him because he's got yes. the speed and the strength. Surge would um, just move all the balls out yeah. of the way. Do you want to go for Spike? Spike. Yeah. Spike. We all agreed on Surge too? Yeah. 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 You've made your choice. Back you come. Well, the Eliminators are going with Surge 2. What was wrong with Surge 1 is anyone's guess. Meanwhile, in red, they've gone for Spike. Can he burst the Eliminators' bubble and claw back at least a point for the Beatles? We'll have to wait and see. Now, Ian, I know that even before we started today, you were majorly worried about facing Surge 2. You're about to face him 2-0 down. How are you feeling right now? Uh, a bit nervous. Are you confident you can do the business on this one? Yeah. OK, best of luck, teams. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, Ready. one... Well, they 
start at opposite ends of the table and work their way past each other. And it's Surge 2 showing for the Eliminators, pushing that ball. They cross, and you have to say it looked good for Surge 2. Is it going to be a clean sweep for the Eliminators? Answer, yes. A fantastic performance by Surge 2. Do you know what, though? Spike, again, the Zook's really good. He's got the power, he's got the ability, but he just hasn't got the speed. It's the same old thing that's let you down, boys. But don't be too downheartened. You could still come good in the final. But the Eliminators are 3-0 up. <laughs> up until now, all of your Zooks have had to operate individually, but now you've got to try and make them all work as a team. Take a look at today's final, because it consists of four different challenges. And what you've got to do is work out which of your four Zooks should take on which of the different obstacles, OK? It's a really big decision. Pick correctly, and you boys could storm from behind to grab a victory. Pick badly and it's going to be awful. Teams, time to make your decision. And while you do, Rich, fill me in on the Zoop Lap leaderboard. It's exciting, isn't it? It certainly is, Jake. And this week, we've got a Taekwondo master, David Jordanson. Hey! All breakages must be paid for. Tell us about your Zoop. I've been working on this for weeks. All I want to do is beat Liz with Blue Peter. Come on, master. Keep it going. You do it. Come on. Take that corner, yeah. Come on, we've got to beat Blue Peter. Keep it moving. Come on, the master. That's excellent. Wow, brilliant. 9.6. How'd I do, Rich? How did you do? How, how, how did you do? You're first! You beat Liz! It's just great to beat Liz. Not bad, David. A very impressive zoo. Can keep on watching Bamzuki to find out if he gets chopped from the top. But I feel sorry for Liz. She was doing really well. Anyway, time to crack on with the final. Rich, talk us through the lineups. Well, first up, it's Surge 2 against Scar. Second leg, it's Treeboard against Thorn. Third leg, it's a new boy, Cage Destroyer 3 against Spotty. And fourth, we saw him right at the start of the show, Skinny Malik up against Spike. Cheers, Rich. Now, Beatles, you're 3-0 down. Give your Zooks all the encouragement in the world. Eliminators, very best of luck. May the best Zook team win. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, off goes Surge 2 with that three-second lead. What can the Beatles do about him? And look at this! Straight away, Surge has got absolutely beached on a block. And although Scar is slow, he's clawed into that lead. But Surge frees himself. He tags Treeboard, and Treeboard, no, oh no! Treeboard is on his back! Unbelievable! What a disaster for the Eliminators! And Thorn has been tagged by Scar, and he has made up the three seconds! He's over, over the hurdle, they're in the lead! Have you ever seen anything like it? Because I haven't! Unbelievable! Spotty, he's been clobbered by the door, but he's turned round, and Treeborn is still on his back! It's an absolute disaster for the Eliminators! As Spike races for the line, they've come from behind! The Beatles are back! Yes! Eliminators, I am so sorry. Do you know what? You bought yes. fantastic Zooks. Yes. You made the perfect decisions throughout the show, but in the end, Treeboard went upside down, and that was it. Game over. I'm so sorry. Boys, you're back for the semi final. Yes. yes! Well done. Look, give each other a hug and grab hold of those. Your very own at Bamzuki Pictures. Congratulations. Next time, make your own Zooks fast. All right. Well, that's it from Bamzuki. What a tremendous final and two fantastic teams. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.